I'm not thinking about, oh yeah, let's win the game, let's win the match. I don't care. I just do do our job, then we win. Mm. Yeah, winning is not going to be find it. Winning is coming to me because if I do okay. my work. Annyeong gaseyo, 9k. Gamsabnida for being here with me just before the, the final playoffs. Hello, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, it's oh, since like uh, two months ago. Yeah, it's a good time to do like a second interview. Thank you for uh, inviting me again. Uh, first of all, 9K, how are you mm -hmm. doing? Do you feel good right now? Do you feel exhausted? How is your neck? Your neck, you told me you have some issues oh. with it. My condition is better than before, but yeah, it's still like getting tired right now because uh, at the the meta shift to the other meta, and I need to figure out to be like a, which is good or which is bad with the coaches, and we every time talking a lot, though, trying everything, the new stuff at there, but my neck is still like sometimes painful, but I'm going to do the chiropractic uh, once a week and sometimes two. Uh, so it's getting better, but uh, I hope it's not going to be an issue like before. Main cat to yeah. start is Paris Eternal ready mm -hmm. for the final playoffs? <laughs> uh, not sure, but I'm not saying like oh, weird like a doing bad or doing good because I just like a 50 50 like a it's kind of like a, because we we doing the screen with the other teams and we like a prepare with the other team but no one know because even last year like a when I when we do a playoff I feel like a, we have a confidence but at that time actually the the game is open and the starting it's so so much like a mess and like a lot of team have issues something like that so I'm want to be prepared enough to be get ready but I don't want to be to say that we have a confidence about that. So it's going to be like a 50 50 right now. Yeah, you still have a few days to work because your yeah. first match is like uh, on next Saturday. How will you work until there? What are the, the priorities for you? The priority thing to me is not only the focusing about the, the personal mechanic because if we only the personal mechanic we can be, win the game someone like some of the win the map like if, because if someone popping off like a it the soon kill everything like a soon or the bambas do something a lot or like other player do a lot of thing but i don't want to be like believe just one person popping off to be clean the game because if we uh, believe that if his condition is bad at that time or something like that because if we can do prepare about a lot of things build up like a regular season for the the meta like a, we know but this time meta can possible to be like a really messy and a lot of people can using the different thing everyone has this different idea that kind of time we need to be prepared about the someone is not the important team is very important to be like we can get a goal for the winning yeah, team is always the most important thing. Uh, <laughs> and 9K, you've already won yeah. the OWL with San Francisco Shock. Is that important yeah. to already have this winning experience right now? Mm, he, it's, it's also say answer is yes and no. Because the yes part is the winning condition is not come from the only me at that time the every the player and staff and literally the hard focusing about that at that time like someone like could really be a leader and someone like could be improving as a player or something like that but right now i think winning condition will become during the play of time but before the play of time is not winning condition is not really important because the, actually coaching staff is a two types and not just only two types, two, working type is two. The one before the we can do prepare, how much we can do prepare enough to be like a, actually the match is open and the time we what can we do at there. But my strong point, one of the strong point is at the actually the matching start time and uh, we saw the, some matches and some saw the other games we can do much more like a uh, good knowledge to be delivered to them to be get the high level team but right now even we do like a seriously uh, like a hard focus in the game um we're not sure what actually we, the enemy team do what we can do and like uh, something teasing can do something a lot of things can happen so, so that time is like a act uh, like a university or like a school student turned. like a, we need to study this one we need to study that one like everything or that but when actually exam is open we need to oh yeah let's try to focus on about this part let's focus on this part it's gonna be much more there so right now it's gonna be that kind of experience was like a good for thing is 
at the match time it's good but before the match time it's gonna be much more like a just basic study so so at this very moment what does yeah. the, the coaching staff work look like to put the team and the players in the best condition to be performing to to feel good as well mm -hmm. in their heads mm, i think the most important is the confidence like uh, uh we was like at the first day or a few days like uh, we also trying like a new thing and we changed check the new thing at that time yeah we can see the uh, get the experience it's like a um, like last year, like a Bastion, no one ex ex uh, expected about the Bastion come, right? So that time, like a lot of team destroyed by Bastion come, and that kind of shit. We can't prepare like a that much teasing, but we at least told them to the yeah, they can they can possible do teasing something like that. So I want to be get the much more like a uh, experience to them to be enemy can possible to do, and we can possible to do. So like a card game, like a, we have a much more harder card than enemy, like a, something like that. What, what are the mistakes you have to avoid when you're preparing the, the final playoffs? It's kind of hard, hard answer uh, because it's not actually can we can avoid something from the final playoff because no one know what they are doing, no one know what is our best option. So it's not avoided. It's something like a like a, if you say like a A is good, B is good, and C is good, but this A is like a not hundred percent sure, B is not hundred percent sure, and C is not hundred percent sure, we choose like a just best option for what we can do for at the play of time, like a because we doesn't know is actually meta is what, and we doesn't know what is actually the best condition, so we just like a prepare a lot of things to as much better, so we need to the thing good. The really important thing is the gathering the information as much as possible. We can do like what we can do the best. So it's it's <coughs> good. It's good thing that Paris Eternal won't play the first day. That you will have yeah, one yeah. or two days to see what's the composition. Yeah, that is really good. Really important. Not not the only composition. Just like a see the the actually match time and what we can do and something that is a, the literally important in the legal season get the higher seed because it can be like a mm -hmm. much more ultimate not the, some people can possibly think about the we choosing the the enemy team is important but it's not really important choosing enemy team is going to be every time is hard but the really important thing is we can prepare more than the other team and we can prepare much more with the information with the other team that is i think is a really important thing and, and right now, do you feel that the players are more focused, mm -hmm. more motivated? Yeah, that, that, that is the reason I will uh, be the updated because uh, I think I want to do the meaningful for them to be get uh, some like uh, the parents and uh, their like a uh, friend something to get the video because the I know it's hard to stay away from the country and if let's be honest like uh, without the soon and Nicole and Bembes everyone's like a fresh air I mean like a Hambin and Sparkle and actually has a good like long term experience as a player, but actually actually Otovle and stay away from the country something like that. They doesn't have the like, experience and everyone like a freshman here. We are, we are like a looks like the long term history team, but actually everyone is kind of like a freshman. So I think that kind of like a motivation of making the player to be get the one to get the hype about the their prepare about the good. Yeah, Avala and yeah. maybe other people yeah. like they, they did yeah. uh, an amazing job bringing to the player <laughs> all this video during uh, FD God's birthday that was very yeah. emotional, right? Yeah, it's kind of emotional, yeah. Yeah, it was did, good. Did, did, did you have something from your, your family? No, because the, oh. the <laughs> because the you thing is to. like oh, you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of like <laughs> crazy about that kind of thing. <laughs> but I say yeah because yeah, it's, I guess it's like a birthday. Like a, if I can't do like a sell birthday for me, but I can do birthday party for the my friend, like something like that. Yeah. <laughs> So you, you you talk a bit about that just before, mm. but I, I want to go deeper. Uh, when the final playoffs are coming, is the role mm. of the coaching staff even more important, or is it the the players who take more power? Who who's the most decisive between both? I think it's going to be both sides. I mean, like literally, seriously, it's both sides because it's not like a team strong structure. It's like a if good player and good coaching, and mm. if the this level arrive it. Then the good player and coaching, or coaching and good player, someone like a go like a step by step. So it's gonna be like a we're like a helping to them 
to be go next level and when they list of the level they look at the experiments right when they experience charging they need to be level up so we pushing the level so like a step by step so it's not something <clears throat> something it can say yeah good coaching step like solve everything like a good player solve everything so they need to be like a little about to some level then we push together so that is listen the scream every time like uh, everyone kind of seriously the dive to the scream so we also pushing much more harder than before that is a uh, there's a reason like uh, before the playoff and at the playoff no one can really can like kind of like some people get the ball now some people get the too much like a stress after that but i think everyone is really important every single player even like a your bench player you're really important because bench player also can like a see at the your position player or see at the like a like a player to case oh yeah they too they do this one or oh yeah if uh, if i'm new i think this is good how about that like a uh, ask them like a not like something do like a coaching that like a oh i think so that was not bad uh, uh what's good like something like a prepare because coaching step can't see everything as a player but pl player can see it something like that but this some like a, you need to uh, keep the line but that is also really important every single player is important and every yeah. single coaching yeah T teamwork as always yeah <laughs> and uh, uh, have you been spoken a lot more with the player during uh, the, the last few days i think we are the one of the team speaking with the player quite a lot right uh i'm not sure about the other team because the two minutes but i think as a person as a, like a, our coaching step is really really talking with the player quite a lot of time but like I'm not like a person have it, but I think we speak it quite a lot. Yeah, we I think we're speaking a lot, especially when the meta ship or especially like a big match come before, because I want to know the condition, the condition of the player. I want to know about the, what is their worry, what they can have the happiness, what is their uncomfortable to do play, and what is have their confidence about the play, something like that. Mm. And, and strategically speaking, who's the player the most pertinent in Paris Eternal? Mm. No, I think I have an answer, but I just wonder what the answer this is good or bad because it's kind of maybe, maybe the, the one who, yeah yeah the, the one who's coming to you like to exchange and um, purple stuff composition uh, exchange ID stuff like this. I think Bembes and Nico mm. is really important for that. Yeah, they're they're doing really good time every time. Yeah, mm. and Hanbin also. I think I think most likely is speaking with uh, Bembes and Hanbin a lot of time about the. The new thing is calm or how the confidence something like that but sometimes like a sparkle sometimes nico but i think as a player i think i'm speaking with them the most, the most like most of the time all right because maybe they are the most experienced as well and maybe they have like this kind of leadership in their blood yeah you know? so they want yeah. to uh, <coughs> and w which which is the player with who you have to talk the most and the one you don't really have to talk with uh, right now talking most the person is Hanbin, Hanbin is uh, the most I'm talking with because yeah it's something like a Choi but I think I'm most likely I talking with the off tank or main tanker player a lot because I mean DPS player DPS job and uh, the thing but I think most of the time I'm speaking with the tanker player because tanker player is very important and I, I have some like a personal strategically to think about the as a game so I most time spending time with the tanker player and, and the one you, you don't you don't really have yeah. to talk about because you know that he's doing his things alone and it's gonna be fine uh it's kind not kind of that because it's something like that so like a, if for the first step like a tanker player confidence and then like a step the second step is like a healer or dps like a something like that it's a it's, it's a, something like a making the house like a, if the 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 big house like mm -hmm. a the build the structure the main thing is like a, as a make the tanker then put the dps or healer and the bit depend on meta put the, them at there and then we build up build up build up something like that so the, i think the most important thing as my the strategical is a tanker so i most time we talk, talking with them and so that is the reason sometimes no i'm the depend on meta sometime talking with the no smile sometime talk with the bambas as that right. but hanbin is uh, every time he doesn't have a, a, a like a bench player like his max is still at the europe so we i talk with the hanbin and the less talking spec player is 
feel the trigger because, because I I want to give feedback or I want to like I, I do mm -hmm. like a feedback I do like a talking with them is as a, like a, not only the stream after the stream like a, at the morning um when I they woke up the and they wake they at the practice room and they like a, do like a, their personal like a practice something like that I'm talking with them in that time or after the stream and when they have a, like a, just like a last time I talking with them sometimes or something like that so filter is not at here so that is listen is not only the ping issue that is i think quite the issue yeah and when you finish the the scream time is like maybe yeah. early in the morning for him so he has to, mm. he has to rest a bit and uh yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of harder to to talk with him uh yeah. so 9k this season paris track mm -hmm. record is like 21 wins eight loses. Mm -hmm. you defeated teams like philly twice san francisco shock once uh, you want mm -hmm. the summer showdown as well at the start of the season did you think mm -hmm. that you would be able to present such a track record at the end of the regular season mm -hmm. mm, actually i didn't like literally think about that kind of thing because I just have a, my personal goal as to do something like that, but I was not like think about that. Uh, yeah, we can do showing uh, the track record thing, like uh, something like uh, making the meaning about the like high thing because it's like last year like, when the, we do the 28 and 0, mm -hmm. like that was like a gold stage. But the one we actually think about that, we just like uh, do our job at that time. And when we see the behind it or like uh, after it done. We saw the, some like chords, like, something like that. We had the 21 win, Summer Showdown win, and against the win, that's like a strong team. And we just didn't think about that kind of, we just think about the winning and the making the, the good, like a uh, knowledge of the game and something that then we can say that something. So it was not really we looking forward to do something like a recording or like a see the record. We just like do all the, the basic stuff. Yeah, yeah but so I didn't expect it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, if someone came to you yeah. at the at the mm -hmm. beginning of the season and told you, okay, yeah. Paris Eternal will yeah. uh, win Summer Showdown, you will defeat Philly, you will defeat San Francisco Shock, uh, you will finish third mm -hmm. NA, would you sign for it? <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. But because uh, it's, uh, who knows? Who knows? The, yeah, mm -hmm. who knows? Like uh, every every time, uh, everything can happen, right? So who knows? Yeah, yeah. And and with such a track record, do you think that Paris yeah. Eternal has already succeeded in 2020? As a regular season, kind of, yeah. But at the playoff, if we kind of at making awful lizard maybe not but i know it's hard because everyone fresh air but still 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 i don't want to be like a satisfied so not really yeah okay it will depend yeah. a lot of, on the players yeah. right yeah okay you're still hungry that's that's good that's great <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh how is the team position right now in in terms of confidence i think no one no one gonna be get the confidence right i mean i gonna be try to making the confidence then but it's like a it's same as like exam if you do study hard even you you're good at the study you're doesn't know at the exam you can't like get the confidence right everyone everyone just get the their like a, that is the reason a lot of people get the routine about the making their confidence or something like that so i think no, but do, um, you, do you feel that mm -hmm. the, the player, um, mm -hmm. they, they, they feel strong right now? Maybe stronger mm -hmm. than ever in the season? Or because we don't really know what's going to happen, they are like, we can't really be confident because, okay, we are yeah. working really hard. We're preparing yeah. the best we can do. But the thing is, we, we won't know the, the question, like you say, during the yeah. exam. So, yeah, we're we are right now the kind of situation, yeah. Mm. Okay, so you're just waiting for the, yeah, the, we're just the, waiting. The final <laughs> play to start. Yeah, okay. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Just like a, yeah. <laughs> 9K, big question yeah. right now. Big yeah, yeah. question: Is Paris mm -hmm. Eternal able to win OWL this year? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Because we need to be through too much thing. Like we need to beat the like, literally high level NA team. Then we going to Asia. Then we're going to beat the okay, new Asia team. And then we're going to beat them too, again. Okay. Because even we beat the NA team, if they can climb to the first top seed and we meet the top seed each other, and then we do the NA thing all again, or the, we never seen the Asia team. So who knows? Yeah, but why not? Yeah, but it's important to, yeah. I mean, to, to trust 
that you can yeah. win. That's the first step. If you're like going yeah. into a competition thinking that oh, mm. we can't we, we can't win, we can't win. That's no. already we never we, lost, we right? never think about that. Yeah, we never oh. think about that we're gonna lose, but we never think about the gonna say yeah we win this year, but we just say that. No, we doesn't able. care. Yeah. Not that you're gonna win, but you're able to yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying like, uh, I don't care. I don't care meaning about that. I'm not thinking about, oh yeah, let's win the game. Let's win the match. I don't care. I just do do our job. Then we win. Mm. Yeah. Winning is not going to be find it. Winning is coming to me because if I do okay. my work. Yeah. But Paris Eternal is not a favorite team right now. I mean, the biggest one. Yeah. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? We, we, it's really don't know. Really don't know. But I think, yeah. It was like San Francisco Shock, last winner. There's Philly Fusion. They made an yeah. amazing season as well. They finished top. Mm -hmm. There's Shanghai Dragon as well. So mm -hmm. maybe Paris is not. Why not? I, I mean, like a, like a, like a, uh, I mean, this, this question is hard to answer, but I think. I never think about that we're gonna lose them. I never think about. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be match hard and making we can lose to them. We can pass over to them. But as a like a regular season or every the playoff, we not losing to them really easily. I mean, we sometimes did it, but I think. But it's gonna be like a, something like that. So I'm not going to say they're a strong team. We're gonna lose. I'm not saying. Um, I have confidence. I'm gonna win them. It's like a, just like a we can possible to win that. This that every time that is open, right? Okay. Paris is part of the, the, the favorite team, but the first step for Paris yeah. Eternal is to reach the top two NA. Is yeah. that the hardest challenge? No, no, I think it's going to be not really hard, but not really easy. It's going to be like a, that is that is also like a complication because we don't know at the match time which team can do something like that. But I think it's still like a same as like a, every, I mean, like a, I answered like a same thing like a, to everyone, something like that. but. Still, still, we just need to find the answer and we just need to be waiting the answer. This year, 9K. Yeah. Paris yeah. has won once against San Francisco Shock, which is your previous team. What yeah. does it mean for you? Yeah, it's not really meaning. It's not really meaning to me because they're a strong team and they're like one of the best team. So it's going to be hard to win against them. But it's like something like a meaning about the, yeah, I beat my previous team. It's something I never think about that kind of thing. Because I feel like it was a. If we met yep. at the final, I think mm -hmm. it was really meaningful. But mm -hmm. at the regular season and like a, just like a, the top, the at the top four situation, like a qualified situation, it was not really meaning to me. Just like a yeah, I want to meet them as like a big more, much more big stage, and it's gonna be much more happier to be get that. It's, it's, it will that time. I think it's gonna be some meaning. But right now, it's just like a not really meaning. Yeah. Yeah, but there was the, the bet between you and the coaching staff, the restaurant, and yeah. that's always special when you're playing against your previous team. And you, you did it in the semi-final of the Summer Showdown, so that's huge yeah. already. You know that? <laughs> I mean, I, I think I can't, as a I can't person, believe as a, that it's the yeah. same win than another team. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's definitely, but it's, it's a, what is not meaning for this? Because if I say that it's so meaning to me, it's so something like that. But, but as a person, I'm not literally want to be satisfied if I do something achieve, right? Because that achieve is not really the like a making the, the it's, a, it's kind of like a my personal motivation the type mm. right because i don't if it, if it, even i do like a practice exam or something like that if i get the good lizard i say yeah i'm doing good at here so i'm gonna be good at the like a, it's, i don't want to get the like a, some people it's different to type like a, some people confidence in making him they are strong but to me the worrying about something like that and not literally get the meaning about that so like a, something like a i'm like a boring person like that because i don't want to be get the very confidence and happy and like a like an emotion or something like that to making me like a, that that kind of thing making me weaker because if I say, say that yeah that's the meaning then I don't like a, gonna be lazy much more so I don't want to be like a making me like a weaker so that is reason it's not gonna be really meaning to me yeah because I can't like get the something less good less after that okay I got it I got it <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry sorry sorry, no, sorry no, 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 but no, I think fine, like that's right. yeah yeah I, I think mean, like you... before the playoff I kind of like a, right now like a too serious about the answer or something like that but yeah no no but uh, it, uh, it, it's yeah. fine and uh, 9k without going into yeah. details what mm -hmm. will the meta look like during this playoff you told me right now in screams it's a bit messy is double shield dead it's 
gonna be more divey, it's gonna be more rushy. Mm -hmm. I can't answer, I can't answer that, but I can of say course, that. Uh, I think mm, almost sure double six is not gonna be exist, right? I mean, some part maybe, some part maybe, but I think most likely is no one gonna be using that. All right. Yeah, maybe, but, yeah, maybe at the future, but yeah, right now. No. I mean, yeah. is there gonna be composition we haven't mm -hmm. seen yet? Uh, I think some of team definitely can learn like a we never seen before. Yeah, I think some of team, but we can't say that it's like a mm -hmm. the regular the meta because everyone have a different the type. So but I think regular meta is not like something we didn't see. I think it's kind of like a because the almost like a, just like a three four months like everyone prepare or something like that. That the information. It's like uh, literally making the team get the, their own like a strategy to do. So I think it's not too much different, but some people are going to be using different thing. Yeah. All right. And when there's a big switch like this in the meta, mm -hmm. is it better for yeah. a top team or is it easier to get surprised by a lower team? I think it's going to be much more so easy to surprise by a lower team because the thing is like uh, if you're high level team, even you do something like a, like a just in general situation, do like a something you used to it. You even they bring the new comp, they're not losing a lot of time at the screen because they just uh, they doing like a, their own job, then they won, right? But as a lower level team, uh, let's be honest, even they do chase, even they do like a regular thing, they losing both of the time at the screen. Right, so they try to making the something new, something new, something new, and then something else of they can find the really good like strategy or good tricky thing to do. But the high level team is they doesn't need to be try. Say they need to sometimes try to do new thing, but even they are not trying, the low level team trying so they can see the information. So they can look like that is literally huge thing as a advantage of, as a strong team because you scream with the other team and scream with the other team a lot and they can it automatically can see the lot of thing at the position. So so I think lower level team get really advantage of that. Yeah. And uh, you know everyone is talking a lot mm -hmm. about San Francisco Shock, Philadelphia Fusion, mm -hmm. Paris Eternal to to fight mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the the top two NA. But in yeah. your opinion. Which are the teams who can surprise? I mean, Mayhem is really every time really strong team. I mean, yeah. at the bootcamp time also, I feel like they're going to be a strong team. So I think Mayhem definitely top four team as we're going to be fight for the top two seats. So I'm not going to include them because they're already a strong team. So okay, um, personally, Balliance is a really scary team. Atalanta is scary team because they already have a good DPS player, a good like a uh, coaching step. So I think both of the both of them are literally high chance to be get the one of the chance to be clutch to be winning condition team, mm -hmm. the like, top the surprising team. Yeah, and also Gladi. Yeah, Gladi also. And I think Vancouver is gonna be also like a kind of surprise team because they have a Dalton really good at the uh, his skin player and Shockwave also, and their other player is not that much bad. So maybe yeah but i yeah. think most like most most gonna be the surprising but but i think valiant and the atlanta is actually high lit, high c team so it's not too much surprising but if we get the much more lower c team vancouver or toronto yeah i think I mean, just just also gonna be awesome <laughs> maybe but yeah but I, I, I'm lost. Yeah. I'm a bit lost. Uh, 9K, you told yeah. me like Toronto, you told me Valiant, Gladiators, Atlanta. You, well, okay. you if, 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 okay. If you okay. have to choose okay. if, one or two. Okay, if I choose just only the one team, one team, um, I think Valiant, yeah. Well, definitely Valiant, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. do you think that during uh, Messi meta, Gladiator, they have that style where uh, bird ring is very clutch kefster can clutch as well you said the mm. same about the valiant with Shax, mm. ksf ksp uh, who are clutch player do we think that it's gonna be better for team like this or shockwave with uh, vancouver who like to take you know 1v1 mm. duels stuff like this yeah. the, the meta is better for team like this this mm. kind of messy meta i mean yeah, I think every time the meta is clearly messy or no one like get the high level coordination situation, I think like someone clutch player is really important. Yeah, 
I think clutch play really, really important during that time because <clears throat> even we prepare like a lot of things, someone just like a clutch it. Like sometimes like we don't kill everything or Tracer just pulse bombed everything or Doompiece punch to kill everything or something like that kind of thing happen, yeah? I mean, if we need to coordinate a lot, right? So I think clutch player is really important, yeah. And uh, I would like to talk a bit more about your relation with Fielder, who is yeah. so far away from you, from the rest of the team, he's alone in Korea. Uh, have mm -hmm. you been able to develop your relation during the year or is it still difficult as you told me last time? I mean, it's kind of difficult right now because at the morning he like uh, practiced himself. But yeah, at that time, like uh, we giving feedback, the personal feedback like that. So because I'm, we, I build a, like a relationship without the screen time because it, at the screen time, everyone is kind of sensitive, right? So because if they do good or do bad, something like a, they're like a little sensitive. So I don't, I'm not really talking like a, the funny thing at that time, right? Something like that, right? So, so I don't really talking with the at, at, at the morning or after the screen, right? So it's gonna be kind of hard, right? So maybe, but next year, maybe we can do the better thing with the him. Yeah. Is that uh, another motivation to be able to <laughs> meet him in person yeah. to, when you get <laughs> in, uh, in Asia, maybe? Yeah, every, everyone say that. Everyone say that. It's kind of like a good, looks, it's like a, something like a gold for us. Yeah. And is it harder for Fielder to find his place in the team? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Definitely not. No. I mean, maybe with the, maybe with the, the Western player, because I mean, he can't speak English very well right now, and it's like a personal time is going to be much more talking then, right? So I think he know with the sparkle before, and he is kind of like a shy person, but I think he's fine with the Korean player and this coaching staff. Yeah, yeah we sometimes talking something, and yeah, so I think it's fine. It's not something. Um, Nineke, last time you you told me that due to COVID situation, it was way harder to develop relationship between players, between uh, members of the coaching staff. Do you feel that Paris Eternal is still late on this point right now? It's not late. It's not, never going to be late. Never going to be late. So this reason, I'm after like a, something we... You, give. you yeah, told me yeah. late uh, compared to what you expected. At the beginning oh of the yeah season, yeah the, the beginning of the season i expecting much more we can do to yeah. prepare to like a closing and talking like a, something like that but it's not too late but i think we're we getting better getting better this listen after is win the summer showdown i buy the dinner i think i buy the dinner i buy a lot of things for them like I, I'm, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this listen, the making the motivation video, something like that. But I think still we are getting better. Yeah, I think it's not too much late. We feel better. Yeah. After the the win at the summer showdown, it was easier then to organize restaurant uh, videos party. Mm. Uh, yeah, kind of yes, kind of yes. Because after the winning summer showdown, I giving much more pressure to them. So maybe they feel like the bad way, but yeah, <laughs> because. It, after winning is literally the worst timing to be get too much closer to me yeah why because do you think that after winning the player can just uh not stop working but you know yeah after the past the goal everyone's too satisfied i mean even me too satisfied so that is the reason sometimes we get the not good performance after winning and that is the reason a lot of team after the winning get the really bad lizard you did really well after the the summer show, and you only lost to the top two team. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember well. I, yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's not enough for you. Yeah, that is not enough for the everyone. Yeah. Mm. Uh, can you say maybe a, a few words about the fact that because Soon told me that that during the three days break, uh, Sparkle yeah. he played yeah. Overwatch until eight nine a.m. and you had to close the practice room. To be sure that he can rest a bit? Yeah, 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 because, I mean, he is not a hardworking person as like a, that much, as to maybe soon confusing, but yeah, I think want to be like a, when he want to do practice, he just do practice, he sometimes do, do practice, he do practice, so he like, after the scrim is too tired, he's not working directly at that, then he like a slightly get the nap, and then he come back to the work, and he do like a practice and that time, right? So. Yeah, Rush want to the head coach Rush want to get the, everyone get the good con, the body condition schedule. So sure. yeah, Rush yeah close the door yeah. 
You, you, you had to do things like this to be sure that the player uh, will be in a good shape for the, the final playoff. You have to talk with them to say, please don't play too much, uh, rest, uh, think about something else. Uh, I mean, oh. I, I'm not really say. I'm not really say because because the really serious solution is everyone has a, their personal routine, right? Mm. Everyone has a personal routine. I don't want to break the routine. Yeah, like they are very young player yeah. and young yeah. person, so sometimes yeah. they are thinking, oh, it's gonna be fine. I remember Nico told me uh, once during the season when he practiced a lot to be efficient with uh, Eco. He told me I mm -hmm. arrived in the playoff and I was exhausted because I I uh, played too much. So you know, sometimes I mean, you had to say something to the player. Oh no. Please just rest right now. Um, mm. Did you have to do this uh, that time? I think I'm part of the agree with you, yeah, because they're like a kind of young person, so they might be not control their like routine really clean. But this listen, I sometimes talk to them, but I don't like really control it. Like a control mm. and saying is quite different, right? Because control yeah. is going to be too you can much. Advise to... them. Okay. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, did a bit. Uh, depend on the person. Depend on the person. Yeah. I normally do to the Hanbin a lot. Uh, he, okay. I think he's one of the hardest and Ben Best one of the hardest practice person and Nick also, right? Yeah. To end the interview, uh, a, a question about Avala. He, mm -hmm. Is she getting better and better talking English? Uh, no, is Avala <laughs> getting better and better talking French? My bad, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, at the group of time, she mm -hmm. talking with the uh, FD a lot. I think sometimes like a, the other French player, but I think she talking with the FD to be get the improving the French. And I think she getting better. She getting better. She sometimes say to the French to me, and I don't understand what are you saying. <laughs> so, a lot of things, but I think yeah, she getting better. She getting better. And uh, what about you? Did you learn some uh, stuff, some French stuff? Uh, not really. You don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> right I mean, I mean, after, after a season, I'm gonna be do that. But uh, during the season, it's too hard to me. Like, uh, I'm still my English low level, so I think like uh, I need to prepare English a bit more and uh, French mm -hmm. also. But that's gonna be hard. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, English first and then uh, then French. But maybe maybe we can try something to uh, end the the interview. Uh, 9K. Can you say Allez Paris Eternal? Okay, okay, okay. Allez Paris Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, excellent, excellent. Gamsab Nida, Gamsab Nida, once again, 9K. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I want to say something like a, it's a I think like a, it's kind of like a before the play of starting. So maybe my interview is answer is non clean and something like a, something is too like a serious or something like a too like a maybe feel like toxic or like a not at all like a yeah. But I I mean can some people can feel like that right? So it's gonna be like a sometimes it's hard to answer or something like that right? Because I also like get a lot of stress and like a things that so so if you feel like that I'm sorry about that yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't have to be sorry. <laughs> It's always yeah. a pleasure to talk with you and your time is very precious right now because you have playoff coming and you have a lot of work. You also, you told yeah. me it's uh, it's early in the morning for you right now. So yeah. we send you a lot of uh, energy and uh, we wish you the best, really, uh, 9K. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merci.